Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a mid-July reading for you. So this could resonate at any time. I'm intending it to be from now until mid-July, whatever. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to do this a little bit different this time. We're going to be doing you and the other person. You know, you pick a side, which one is you. Um, and we're going to go from there. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what comes up. What do we have for Sagittarius for the middle of July? The person that they are dealing with. What can they expect? We have somebody here that is stuck, somebody that is, you know, facing a struggle and needing to see something through a new perspective. We have somebody here that is sacrificing themselves needlessly, um, hanging on to something that really doesn't serve them, um, maybe getting prepared, getting prepared to leave, or getting prepared to uh, waiting for something perhaps. Hmm. Waiting for somebody to come save them, perhaps. It's like, we got somebody here that is hanging on, but you really need to face some sort of change. So, it's like you have to make the change. Somebody has to make the change. They have to face some sort of struggle. Over here, we got somebody he that is not really focused on a relationship. It's like this person may say that they're full of love and that they have love to offer but they're really not their actions aren't aren't uh, coinciding with their words okay we got somebody here who probably presents themselves as you know loving and kind but it's not true hmm. You know, somebody may be waiting for somebody to change. You know? It's like waiting for somebody to change. Thinking about leaving, thinking about walking away. It's like there's 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 nothing left there. The cups have all been spilled. There's no love left, but somebody is still hanging on. There's no emotional fulfillment. And we got somebody here who is really thinking about it. And maybe in the back of their head, they're getting prepared. They're getting prepared for, you know, this change. But if the struggle is real, the struggle is real dealing with change. You know, it's not easy t to change your circumstances. It's not easy to walk away. It's not easy to step into the unknown. Could be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with a... T uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it looks like you're you're dealing with a person that doesn't want to be held accountable for anything. This person is dishonest. This person is unbalanced. This person um, doesn't act with integrity. This person probably tells lies. <laughs> and holding on is getting old. Okay, this person, this person is. It's almost like this person. There's, there's nothing, they're not even trying. They're not even trying. This person is probably not happy with who they are. They're not, they're not, they're refusing to transform their lives. They're refusing to change. They're, ref, they are refusing. We got somebody over here that's waiting for somebody to change. This person is not going to change. This person is holding on to, you know, their stance. This person is not going to do anything. This person is not going to be held accountable. This person um, lacks integrity. Okay? They, they present themselves as kind, but they are not. This is good news. This is a new opportunity coming to you. 
perhaps even a new suitor, somebody that is better suited for you. I think that you, Sagittarius, have more passion in you, and I think that you keep looking at this person, hoping that this person will, you know, change, but this person won't, isn't going to change. This person isn't going to change. And I think you have a new opportunity. You have, a, you have an opportunity to go down a new path. You could, you, you probably... I think you may be being abused. You're probably being abused by another individual. This could be a father. This could be a husband. I'm not sure who it is, but there's abuse here. And I think that you're holding on to this false sense of security. Maybe it's because it's what you know. You know, I'm not sure why you're holding on to it, but it's like you don't want to deal with the struggle. You, you're, it's like you're resisting change when you have the tools within you, you have the power, you have the resources to go down this new path. I think you're going to be presented with a new exciting opportunity, and when you get presented with it, you should probably take it. Okay? I think you should probably take it because I think you're in an abusive situation where you're being bullied. I think you are... Um, allowing it. You're allowing somebody to treat you badly when you have the resources to be successful. But the only way that you're going to be successful is to, you know, shed your fears, shed your old ways, shed your, your, um, need to hang on to things that don't really serve you anymore. You have to, um, Remember that what goes around comes around. Whatever this person is doing to you, they are going to get what get it back. And and I feel like you are dealing with a person who is, you know, and without even having a lot of cards, I think this person is miserable. I think this person is probably going nowhere, and therefore it's like they're they're holding you down. They're bringing you down with them. You know, misery loves company. You know, I feel like you're going to receive something, an invitation to to broaden your horizons, to go someplace else. And when you receive this invitation, I see that you're going to think about it. And I think that there's fear of stepping into the unknown. But I think that some sort of help is arriving. Because this is an, some sort of help is arriving that is going to give you the power. It's going to give you the resources to go down this new path and leave this abusive situation behind. For some of you, you're dealing with a Libra or a Gemini or an Aquarius. Um, yeah, this person is not a happy camper. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, it's like they're an energy thief. They're, they're sad. They're depressed. They, they're not a good parent. They don't focus on love. They're, it's not about love for them. It's about self-love. This person is selfish. This person is selfish. This person is poor. Misery loves company. Poor, 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 pitiful me. So it's like whoever that you're dealing with, this person is like angry with the world. And it's like they want to take you down with them. They don't want you to do better than them. They don't want you to be happier than them. And that's your misery loves company kind of individual here. It's like this person is stealing your energy. It's like you're dealing with an energy thief. Um, and it's not, it's funny that this is over here and this is over here. I feel like these, these two cards should, should be switched. This is absolutely an energy thief. You're dealing with somebody who is so unhappy with themselves. They're so unhappy with their current circumstances that they will do anything to bring you down with them. And it's like, it's almost like you love them. You love them and, and you don't want to push them away. You're hoping that they will change, that they will see the light, that they will you know, just be happy. You're probably wishing that they would just be happy, but whoever it is that you're dealing with, they're really held down by their bad decisions, by their poor decisions, by their, you know, the dead ends that, that have developed throughout their life. And they have run into a lot of dead ends because of their lack of integrity. Okay. Their selfishness. So I, I really feel like during this mid-July, you're going to be presented with a new opportunity. I think that somebody is coming to offer you that. You're going to receive an invitation or you're going to receive a message or you're going to receive some sort of good news from somebody that gives you an opportunity to walk away. You know, to walk away from this individual that is 
hurting you. And I mean, it feels like this is an abusive situation. Um, and I'm not sure which side is you, but there's secrets. There's stuff that you don't know. I feel like um, there's something that is hidden here. This, this, whoever it is that you're dealing with, is hiding stuff from you. They're not, they're not telling you the whole truth. Um, maybe they have another connection. This is one-sided. There's no reciprocation. There's no equal give and take here. And I think that the, you are probably... You're going to receive... You're going to receive an opportunity for emotional support from somebody that hasn't entered your life yet or they, ha they haven't presented themselves they've been in the background maybe they've been watching or you know they've they've who knows what i'm not exactly sure this this it hasn't come to the surface this person hasn't it hasn't been revealed yet okay there's going to be some upheaval that happens and when this upheaval happens this this person is going to It's going to work out in your favor because this person is going to come in with some sort of emotional support for you. It's going to help you. It is. I feel like whoever that you're dealing with, they may be allowing you to stay or keeping you in their circumstances, maybe just for the money. Maybe just for the assets of the whole situation. I feel like you have a new emotional love opportunity coming in a love offer or something emotional support somebody is going that loves you or is going to fall in love with you is going to show themselves very soon over here you're dealing with a miserable individual who won't accept change this person is smothering this person is very 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 selfish angry at the world this person um, is not really wanting a partnership they're not wanting a union they're not really wanting to work on a union even though even though they may it may, to this outside world, it may look like they're all kind and sweet and all that. Then No, they're not. This person is very hard to deal with, very hard to work with because they're so selfish. They're so dishonest. They're so... Ooh, look at that. They may be looking at somebody else. They may be interested in somebody else, and that's why they're not really invested in you. This could go back, this could go vice versa. I think there's a new love connection here. They want somebody else. Somebody, somebody wants somebody else. And that's why it's like the love has died. The emotional support has died. The feelings have dwindled because there's somebody else. So Sagittarius, I have to tell you, you have somebody else. You do have somebody else that is better suited for you. Maybe you just need to open your eyes. Maybe you need to realize that. Maybe you need to stop sacrificing yourself for the one that doesn't reciprocate because you have somebody else here. Holding on to this dead end is getting you nowhere. There's somebody that is that is perfect waiting to enter the picture for either you or the other person or both of you. Okay? It looks like for both of you. So my advice is to release. Release. Stop holding on to a dead end when there is a better match here. There is a better union. There is a better partnership. But you're going to have to you know, 
look at things differently. You're going to have to stop resisting change. You're going to have to be more optimistic and you're going to have to face the struggle. We got somebody over here that doesn't want to deal with any pain over here, you know, so they're just, you know, shutting down. If this person is shutting down, they don't want to deal with it either. It's like we got two people here that don't want, really want to take the lead. They don't really want to, you know, take the bull by the horns. They don't really want to take action because for different reason. One reason is because of the financial assets and the other is because misery loves company. Um, yeah, this is, this is being naive, being taken advantage of, foolish. Somebody is allowing themselves to be taken advantage of by somebody that isn't well suited for them when they have another opportunity, something that is much better suited. Expect the unexpected. I think that you are going to receive an unexpected um, opportunity here from somebody who is coming to help you. They're probably coming to help you break free from this very unhealthy situation that you are in. I think that you are in an unhealthy situation with an abusive individual and it feels like you, somebody is arriving, somebody is coming to help you break free. You know, they're probably going to, they're going to help you in some way. And this comes after some sort of, you know, upheaval. There's going to be some sort of something's going to happen that is going to give you what you need to break free. I think whoever you're dealing with, they also have a new love. They have a new vision. You know, they got this new opportunity for love and that's probably why they aren't reciprocating for you. Be prepared, okay? Things are going to happen fast. You're 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 about to things are going to happen fast. You're going to start receiving messages. Maybe they're they could be intuitive messages anyway. I don't know, either way. You this these, this is also the rods of love. Be prepared because I think that love is going to hit you in some way. Whether it's it could even be from a family member, I don't know. Somebody loves you and you're going to you're going to feel the love. So be prepared to feel some love. Okay? Be prepared to feel some love. That's, that's all I can say. Good luck.